Sakura Park has been in existence, I assume, for at least 100 years, probably. It's a classical park of that period, like Bryant Park in many ways, you know, sort of formal paths, lawns and trees and shrubs around the edge. We didn't want to depart from that. Located immediately north of International House, which is a place where students from all over the world come and live while they're going to school in New York. But there had never really been a, a real relationship between the two. I mean, I'm sure the students used the park, but it was, uh, it was accidental rather than intentional. So uh, when we were asked by the Rockefeller family to um, look at Sakura Park and see what we could do to make it more, restore it and to make it more useful, um, one of the ideas that we had was to create a little gazebo, a little structure, which would invite students into the park and also could be a place where performances and events could take place. And so that's what we did. And we built this little gazebo there, which I think has been very successful. We also did whatever we could to make sure that the existing trees, many of which were very beautiful, but some of which were probably on their way out. There were some elms there which probably have succumbed since then. We were able to enrich that planting because of its sort of role as the front yard to International House, as well as being a, a local neighborhood park. International House were willing to take over its maintenance. We were able to do a much richer planting than we would have dared to do in a more typical New York City park. Cherry trees are not my favorite species of tree, and I think they've generally been overused, particularly in Washington. But it was Sakura Park, and it seemed appropriate. So we planted some cherry trees, which I think have done quite well, and certainly given the part of the character that it has today.